Hey, good afternoon, YouTube. Tim Coleman is Jet Pirate Go Kart Project once again. 65 degrees this morning. I just uh, filled up my starting fuel tank, the little tank on top, little one gallon tank. And the uh, lower tank uh, is not all the way full. It's partially depleted from the runs and burn offs that I did yesterday. Hopefully, uh, uh, the extra vapor on top will help push the liquid through and we can get a little bit longer run. I've got the uh, thrust gauge hooked up and uh, got it sitting on uh, black top. Got the tail pipe aimed out in the open country. So don't know what's going to happen, whether it's going to start or just be a ball of flame like uh, I videoed yesterday, but anyway, okay, valves, nuts is tight, starting fuel valve is open, liquid valve is open, master switch is off, liquid and vapor solenoids are off, the throttle valve is off, and I guess it's time to try. If this thing starts, I'm going to make a mad dash before I measure the thrust to try to get back here directly behind the engine and give you guys a shot of the flaming glory that comes out the back of this thing. It's uh, an interesting sight. An interesting sight. But the noise is going to be uh, typical so we shall see so let's go ahead and light this candle and see what happens all right master switch is on liquid liquid solenoid is on no liquid is passing because the valve is closed now let's see if we can get her to start. because I didn't reset the gauge. Yeah, we'll purge it out there a little bit. Now, if it'll start a second time, I'll keep my hose away from the engine. I burnt my other hose yesterday. So, I don't want to burn another one, but anyway, this thing pushed a little harder than yesterday. Okay, gauge is zeroed out, so now let's try, okay, throttle valve is off. Liquid solenoid is on. Ignition.
Well, that was exciting. That's the longest run I've had. Disappointed at the uh, thrust. Still only got uh, about 17 pounds. I did notice a significant drop off in the thrust when I turned off my starting fuel to save tank pressure. But uh, I can't run both the starting and the liquid fuel so evidently I've still got a restriction someplace and the liquid feeding into this line right here is pretty cool oh. well looks like that that did help Mr. Ben 527 that uh, the extra Uh, pressure in the uh, liquid tank did help so we shall see we'll give it a few more minutes here and uh, see what happens and may try liquid start as soon as my air compressor fills up. Oh, goodness. It's kind of cool out here. It was kind of nice downwind of that exhaust. That's a heck of a space heater. <laughs> oh, we. Anyway. Uh, uh, let's see. I was trying to think if there's some way I can do this one-handed on uh, trying a liquid start and no nope. can't do it because I've got to have my ignition going well I don't know I'll work on something and if I do come up with something that I can video one handed why We'll give her a shot. Anyway, thanks for watching. Mr. Ben 527, appreciate all your valuable input. Uh, we're making progress. Maybe slow, but we're making progress. Like, share, subscribe. You know, the whole YouTube spill. So, this is Tim Coleman. He's a Jet Power Go-Kart Project. Signing off till the next video.